In this lesson we're going to see how to draw front side plan development and true shape of an octagonal pyramid. Okay, it's a bit different than prisms, a bit more tricky. You have to pay attention. Alright, here I have the plan of the pyramid where you can see you see the outline of the octagon and the edges all going to the center. And this is going to be the front. We're going to draw this in third angle. Plan, front, I'm going to include the side. Right. Now as you can see, the development of a pyramid, unlike that of a prism, is in the form of a sector. Okay, a sector with straight edges at the bottom. So eight similar triangles attached to each other, since it's an octagon. Plan, the front. Now I've projected these two lines from the corner onto the base. Now I did that because the front has two other lines showing, going to the top. Front, you can see three edges. Now the side view, is exactly similar. So that would be the front. The side view would be exactly the same as the front view. I'm going to obtain the side view by projecting, as usual, from the front the 45 degree angle. I'm going to leave a bit of space between the front. from here 45 degrees to give me that reflective line. I'm going to project straight away these points which will help me find the location of the edges on the base. So there we have the base, the height projected, the midpoint, the vertex projected, which gives me, that's the midpoint, and these two points go down to the base. To finalize my drawing I'm just going to add from the base to the top vertex and from the top back down to the base. Now these points taken on the base should again go to the top. Common mistake is that these lines we draw them vertically as we would do in a prism. So there you have the front side and front side and plan. Now as you can see the development, the development, this edge of the development is nowhere to be seen in these views. Why? Because these are slanting lines, they are going inwards, and the true length of that line cannot be seen anywhere here. Now the true length would be this. Now how to obtain the true length? The true length can only be obtained if you're looking at it perpendicularly. And as you can see here, if we're looking at this from the top, all of these lines are going inwards. So we must find how, how long that line really is. It's a very simple procedure. This line, if it were horizontal, if this line were horizontal, this edge would be true, the true length. But this line is not horizontal. So all you have to do is rotate that line, 
take that line as if you're drawing it in a horizontal position. So if it were rotated, if it were rotated to a horizontal position, you'll get that length. If you project it down back to the front, you project it back down to the front, this vertex from here moves that tiny bit out which gives you this as the true length so it's a bit longer than the actual than the side of the front view this length so to project that length I'm going to keep it between the same perpendicular height But then I'm going to take that line I'm going to set my set square parallel to that true length and then take it back between that perpendicular height that gives you the true length of the sector. This is the true length of the sector. Now what I need to do is I'm going to rotate I'm going to rotate that, that edge using my compass I'm going to draw an arc long enough to fit eight equal sides on that. Now the eight equal sides should be taken again from the plan, from one side of the plan, because we need the perimeter of the plan taken on that curve. What I have to do now is join these eight triangles together. finish off with straight lines at the edge since it's a pyramid base since it's a an octagonal base pyramid and this were a cone you'll keep the curved edge at the bottom there we go and that's the sector the development of the prison of the pyramid. Now remember, I didn't, I didn't take this length, or this length, this length, or this length, as this length for the development. I had to find it by rotating one of the sides horizontally, and that would mean that now I'm looking at this line perpendicularly. So that gives you a true length. So there you have the three main views, orthographic and third angle projection and the development of an octagonal pyramid. Now for its truncation, let's say we need to section that the top part off at any angle, how would that change the other two views and the development? 
would also may in mean that you could add a true shape of that section. We'll see that in the next lesson.